Hi, I'm Aubin and I'm a programmer for Bamboo. Hello, my name is Ben and I'm a programmer from Bamboo. Hi, I'm Anod Sangaradas and I'm a modeler and level designer for Bamboo. Hi, I'm Josh Payne and I'm a modeler for Bamboo. Hi, I'm Carl and I'm the lead programmer for Bamboo. Hi, I'm Nathan Lomps and I'm a 3D modeler and animator for Bamboo. We are currently at the end of our second year studying computer game development at Glendore University. The name of our game is called Bamboo and was made using the Stark engine. Bamboo is a core platform game where you take on the role of either Bam, a panda suffering from amnesia, or Boo, a helpful beaver explorer. The objective of the game is to work as a team to overcome obstacles and enemies while utilising both the character's strengths. One of the main collectibles is the memory farm. These are used to help Bam regain abilities that have been forgotten. As the players progress through the game, they will encounter harder obstacles and the amount of AI is constantly increasing. For the mechanics of the game, we wanted to keep it simple and intuitive for the player to use. Some of the mechanics are only available for one of the players, meaning they must work together to reach their goal. An example of this is the belly bounce mechanic. The panda can lie down on his back while the beaver jumps on his belly to reach high places. Another example of this would be Bam cannot swim, which means that only Boo can traverse through open waters. Oppositely again, Boo is not heavy enough to activate pressure plates. This can only be done by Bam. It's mechanics like these that gives the game a unique feel and will make the player think outside of the box to use this unique and, and common platformer mechanics to complete the game. The game currently has one type of enemy, the Manitari. The Manitari are mushroom people that come out of spawn modules and attack the players. The spawn modules are destructible and is currently the most efficient way to kill enemies. The multiplayer features in this game is networked via a LAN connection. In the main menu of the game, there is a create server button which will create a dedicated server that runs from the player's computer and will allow any two players on the same network to join the same game. The narrative of the game starts out with Bam being lost in a living forest with a bad case of amnesia when he stumbles into a lost beaver who is being attacked by Manatari. They decide to team up and help each other unravel the living forest mysteries while trying to recover Bam's lost memories. When designing the first playable level of the game, we took the team of the living forest and started to make some simple drawing and plans for the level players. From there, we started greyboxing our level to get a sense of scale and size we then started swapping out the reboxing for placeholders and assets until we are left with the level we have today. For the style of the game, we've decided to go with a crumpled paper style. We think this is a simple but effective style to go with as it uses flat textures and simple models to, to great effect. When first coming up with the idea for the game, we wanted to create a multiplayer game where the players would have control over characters with contrasting abilities. This is when we came up with using a beaver and a panda. The beaver is light and agile, whereas the panda is slow and sluggish, giving each player their own advantages and disadvantages. We are trying to make the character's animation as smooth and seamless as possible for a more enjoyable playing experience. For the sound, we compose the background and combat them ourselves. The rest of the sound effects are still currently placeholders, with the sound being sought from online. We are using the Scrum methodology and Zero software to help manage ourselves and progress throughout the development of the game. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy our game.